Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> it's Cal here. So far, we got in the tripod, clearly. But uh, today, I'm going to bring you my tackle update number two, the soft plastics. Originally, I was going to go with uh, spinner baits, jigs, and uh, yeah, that, that, that was going to be today's video. But I decided to go with the soft plastics because plastics, there's a little more variety to talk about. Um, what I like to do is I buy a good amount of soft plastics that I know work. I have the three that I use the most outside of my bag and this is how I store with soft plastics. I have them just labeled plastic worms because I don't have that many of everything else right now. I actually ran out of gallons of blood bags but uh, this would just be for just plastic words, worms so uh, yeah uh, that's how I organize with soft plastics. If you're watching this video you uh, may just want to click like on the video that I make about how to organize soft plastics. It's coming up soon when I get more soft plastics. <laughs> but, uh, alright, so I let's just get right into this. No need to talk about it too much. The baits that I use the most are uh, these three baits right here. All my missile baits. We got the Missile Baits Baby Destroyer. This is the ultimate color. I'll take one out for you guys. It's called Superbug. On the top... This is small. This is kind of used for uh, flipping because you always want a compact bait for flipping. Um, Alright, so on the top, you see it's black and blue. And the bottom, it's green pumpkin. Kind of a perfect color combination for whatever you're going to be using. Um, I find it works very well. Um, this is what I catch a lot of bass on during the summertime uh, when you're flipping cover. Baby Destroyer is good for, for flipping. Alright, we got the regular destroyer, it's in green pumpkin flash, so I'm going to show you just the size differential just for you to get a little bit of a comparison. This is the regular destroyer. Now the body itself isn't that much bigger, it is bigger, but the real big difference is the legs, the tails here. Let me bring out one of the baby destroyers. This is more for just Texas rigging and uh, not flipping with, because look at the difference. You see, much bigger tail action, much more uh, flipping ability. This isn't a flipping bait for me. I like to have small baits to flip with, but this is a great bait all around for uh, just Texas rigging and whatever. And uh, my number one flipping bait is uh, the Missile Baits D-Bomb. This bait is D-Bomb. But, um, I have it in candy grass color. I like this color. But this is a very just compact bait. Kind of a craw, but not necessarily a craw. Uh, honestly, it's a really great bait. This is my favorite flipping bait. I use these all throughout the summer, just constantly. And uh, catches a lot of bass on this in all different size ranges. I love flipping, it's one of my favorite things to do. So that's that. All right, let me put these ones away real quick. Those are my favorites, those are the ones that I use the most. Um, honestly, if I could pick again, if I only had to pick three soft plastics to go with, I'd go with. These, if I only had to pick one soft plastic out of any bait to throw, I'd probably go with the Baby Destroyer. Even though it's not my favorite, my favorite is the D-Bomb. Which, there's a funny story about how I originally bought these. I was trying to get Destroyers, but I just picked up one and I was trying to get it in Candy Grass color. And it actually turned out to be not destroy it, I write it wrong, it's just a D-bomb, and I was using it for flipping, and I caught a lot of bass on it, and that is my favorite bait, but, if I had to go one, probably the big destroyer. Alright, there's a lot of soft plastic in here, they're all different, I don't really have many duplicates at the moment, because I like to try out more, I just buy duplicates of ones I know work. Alright, soft plastics can get expensive, because there's a lot of them. So, first one I'm going to get here, I'm going to go through these as fast as possible, I'm sorry. We just got a pretty much. It's called it's a yum yum dinger. 
in black and blue color. A lot of my baits are from Dick's, so, um, they have a bit of colors are different. They're not always, I can't always find the best colors. But this is pretty much just a Senko worm. I like wacky rigging, so I wacky rig this worm. That's pretty much what that is right there. I don't like Texas rigging a uh, straight worm. Uh, I, don't, I just I don't like it. It's just not my thing. Alright. Next thing we got Zoom. Shaky head. Worms. And watermelon red. I'll take one out for you. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I use these on a shaky head. They're pretty much more of a finesse presentation. I like the uh, Mustad O'Shaughnessy. Um finesse shaky heads for these because they're a bit small but yeah watermelon red is usually a good color for me green pumpkin on it the green pumpkin watermelon red and black and blue just stay with those colors don't get yourself confused all right got some mr twister uh green pumpkin grubs these are old i don't use these that much but uh, they're pretty good. They're for they're. The only problem with these is you catch a lot of small bass on that, or small fish in general, panfish too. So that's the only problem. I don't like using that. Uh, I fish tournaments, so sometimes then I I rather go to some bigger presentation. All right, we got uh, next up we got the Yum Christy Craw, and again watermelon red color. I'm gonna show you these. I actually really like these. They're one of my favorite craw baits. The reason why a lot of my stuff is yum is because it's a, uh, it's cheaper. It's a pretty nice craw. Good legs, great color, got a good flash to it. I like these baits. Next up, we got a uh, five-inch lizards and green pumpkin. These are old. Use these right around in the spawn. When I used to use them, right? A pre spawn. That's when I usually use these. Around here, there's not too many lizards, but we do have, we do have salamanders, so you can use these. I do like these, but I don't know. Most of the time, I stick to something else, but they are usable. Now, I have uh, what I like to use pretty often is I got some. Watermelon shard shrews, trick worms. I'll take one out. Zoom water oh, watermelon shard shrews trick worm. Got a lot of action to these. Um, drop shots, wacky rigs, Texas rig, Carolina rig, whatever you want to use these for. Pretty much, that's what. Easy for they're hard to use on a shaky head. I tried putting it on a shaky head, and they just kind of broke. I didn't really like them on a shaky head. I wish they worked on a shaky head. They just didn't. Next up is something that does work on a shaky head, and I'll show you because I already have one rigged up. On a shaky head, we got Robo Worms. Got it rigged up on a shaky head already. I like to keep. I like to keep one rigged up in here already. Only thing I don't like about Robo Worms is they don't give you a nice zip lock bag. They just kind of give you this thing. It's kind of sucks. They should really upgrade that. <laughs> All right. Next we got uh, the Christie Critter by Yum, black and blue color. My favorite. Uh, presentation for dirty water is black and blue like most people's is but uh black and blue is a very good color it's similar to, to d-bomb but it's a lot more involved clearly i mean d destroyer but it's not as long of legs uh, i can use this for flipping i do use this for flipping because while it is long it is compact it's pretty small uh so i can use this for flipping and i do sometimes but again, the D-bomb is the, is the best for me, I think. 
Alright. We got some green pumpkin chartreuse zoom finesse worms. I don't use these that much. I just have them just in case the fish are really not biting. Put these in a shaky head or something. Oh, you can even wacky rig these. These are pretty nice to wacky rig. I think I got a lot of action, but I'm not the biggest finesse guy. I kind of stay away from finesse presentation for the most part. But uh, if I do need it, it's there. Next up, we got uh, trick worms and green pumpkin magic. I'm just going to show you these. I'm not going to take this out because you already know what trick worm looks like. We got yum grubs right here. This is a watermelon red, watermelon red flake. As you can see, I really like watermelon red. Good for small fish. I want fish really are biting. Those are what we can go for. Go to. We got some yum yum. Thumping dinger. They're just basically a curly tail worm. The thing I like about Yum is they also they just tell you what hook you need to use right there. Four out hook for these. Again, the basic things with this: Texas rig, Carolina rig, three trailer. Alright, and uh, I think this is the last. Yeah, last up is the best cross you can really use. The Strike King Rage Tail. Rage Craw, Rage Denny Craw, whatever you want to call it. This smelly coffee, but I have a cold, so I'll just take them out. But the best when you get them in the water, they're just not very durable. As you can see, I try to rig this one up, and I just, I'm right, an idiot sometimes. I just already broke that one. Alright. So, that's my soft plastics. Pretty much, that's what I'm arsenal is the soft plastics. The uh, ones obviously I recommend the most are these three missile baits. Uh, I'm saying if you are on a budget, I would just go with missile baits, baby destroyer in this color, super bug. I'd, I'd recommend this. Uh, the D bomb, whatever color you like, and the destroyer. These are my three favorite baits uh, in terms of soft plastics. But uh, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content. Uh, I I seem to be pretty good on staying on schedule for uploading every two days right now. But when the videos can gain more views, more likes, more support, it means more videos. Once uh, you know the season comes along, I might not be uploading as frequently. I wanted to try to, but uh, I should be able to upload more. Actually, that doesn't make much sense. When the season starts, I should be able to upload more because I have actually have a GoPro and stuff like this. I'll talk to you guys at the end of the videos because if you guys are watching this far, you're obviously enjoying the video. So I want you guys to get to know more of what's to come. So, uh, yeah, just again, GoPro is coming out. I have a big tackle warehouse order coming up soon. Um, if you guys like, uh, let me know. I will let you know how I actually come up with the money for this kind of stuff. Um, I do have a job, but I'll show you how to organize things so that I can spend uh, certain amounts on fishing. So, again, subscribe make sure you tell your friends about this and also uh keep tight lines and keep fishing